On October 30, the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces renewed their operations against ISIS in the eastern countryside of Diyaretsar city. SDF units seized food Thain, Sidri, Jar, Wabia and Krigi along the road between al buzeri and Asuwar. According to pro-Kurdish sources, the Syrian Democratic Forces also entered Jadid Ukadat and Jadid Bukair cutting off the last road that could be used by the Syrian Arab Army to reach the ISIS-held town of al buzeri on the eastern bank of the Euphrates. Some fighting was also reported between the Syrian Democratic Forces and ISIS in al qsair located east of al buzeriya However, the U.S.-backed force will likely start storming al buzeriya in full force only after it secures the entire area north of it. In Diyaretsar city, the Syrian Arab Army Tiger Forces and their allies reached the Khadija school area in the district of Hamataya in the northern part of the city. In coming days, the Tiger forces supported by Russian military advisors will likely increase pressure on ISIS terrorists inside Diyaretsar. The liberation of the city is an important part of the wider effort to drive ISIS out of eastern Syria. According to pro-government sources, the Syrian Arab army and Hezbollah advanced east of the T2 pumping station near the Iraqi border and captured the settlements of Shamas and Bakhtal. However, it's unlikely that the larger advance towards Al-Bakamla is possible while the western flank of the assault group is not secured or Iraqi forces are not in control of the entire countryside of the Iraqi border town of Al-Qaim. In northern Hama, government troops liberated Razam Abu Mail and Moray Jeb Jumlin from Hayat Tehra al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of Al-Qaeda.